uh-oh, it looks like we've got a problem. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Turner Mobile Detailing. So if your foam cannon was working fine and then all of a sudden you find it spitting out really weak and runny, watery foam, just like the uh, footage that we just took, then yes, you've got a problem. Now I've been using my MJJC Foam Cannon Pro version 2 for about five months now, and this is the first time that it's produced really weak, poor foam quality like this. So it most likely just needs the filters changed. That's the easiest fix. So I'm gonna take it home and get that done. Okay, so we've got both foam cannons taken apart. We've got the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro version 2 right here on the right. And we've got the PF22 from MTM here on the left. Now I've gone ahead and purchased a filter for the MTM from the Clean Garage. I did not order it from MTM directly from Italy, but uh, it's a much faster delivery and much faster turnaround time for me anyway, because uh, the Clean Garage is local to me. So you can see here that the foam cannon uh, filter for the MTM is stainless steel and it's very thick. It's about, I want to say, about three-eighths of an inch to half an inch thick. Uh, so it's one solid filter. Whereas I've learned that since making my original review video of the MJJC and comparing it to the MTM, these filters that come with the MJJC, this is actually one filter. It's actually a filter setup. How it works is the black foam filter here sandwiches between the two stainless steel filters that are thinner than the uh, MTM filter. But there's two of them and they sandwich around the foam filter. So that's what gives it such a dynamic foam producing ability. This unique filter sandwich design. So we're going to get these two foam cannons taken apart. It's actually very simple to take them apart, but it's a little tricky at the same time. And I'll show you the tools that I use. And of course, I'll leave links to all these products, namely the foam cannons and the foam cannon filters in the description section below. So the tools that I'm going to be using today is first and foremost, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key or Allen wrench. Uh, I'm using a 2.5 millimeter. You can also use a standard measurement that's uh, about the same size. The key to it is that it's got to fit inside the little hole that houses the pin, the linch pin. See, there's a little linch pin there. Get the camera to focus. There we go. There's a little linch pin right here on the barrel of the foam cannon. And there's also one in the similar location on the MTM. And the Allen key has to fit inside that hole. And then the other tool that you're going to need is a simple set of pliers. Now I'm just using a small multi-tool set of pliers, but really any set of pliers will do. A set of linesman pliers or a needle nose uh, will do. You're not doing any heavy lifting or heavy pulling of any large objects with this. It's really just to pull out the linchpin once you've loosened it and also to help reset it once you've uh, replaced your filters. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tackle the MJJC foam cannon first. So I'm going to take my Allen key here, and we're simply going to line it up with the hole, and we're going to hold it on the pin. It can be very tricky to hold it, hold the pin on the Allen key, and then put it against the table, and kind of give it a few whacks to try to get the pin up and that's see that's what we've done so we've pushed the allen key down into the foam cannon uh, barrel recessed uh, where the where the pin is recessed into so that pushes the pin out the other side and then we're just going to use the pliers and pull the pin out just like that now make sure you put the put the pin aside don't lose it Take our Allen key out, set that aside also. Okay, so now that we've got the linchpin out of the barrel, we're just gonna grab here at the base of the nozzle and hold on to the, uh, the brass component and uh, just turn a little bit back and forth and pull. And we're gonna pull these two items apart. It's not threaded at all, it's not threaded on there. It's just held on by a, uh, a rubber O-ring here at the base. 
uh, that this piece, the uh, plastic nozzle, slides on and off of uh, with a little force, but uh, it seals off here at the base. So we're going to put this aside. So now that we just have the nozzle on its own, we're going to proceed with removing the old filters. So what we're going to do, we get the camera to focus here, open it up all the way, just like that. And we're going to take our Allen key again and stick it down inside. And this should pop out right down the center. And this should allow us to just pop the filters out. And there they are right there. So now you see we've got this stainless steel here on the right and then another stainless steel here and then the foam. Uh, oh, there, I just dropped it. So we've got the two stainless steels and then the foam filter that is sandwiched in between the two. Uh, so we're gonna be replacing these. So we'll just put these aside and we've got our new filters here. Now I'd like to say that on the first set of filters, I got between around 100 to 120 washes or uses out of the foam cannon before it really needed to uh, have its filters changed. My PF22 uh, from MTM also needs its filters changed, but I, one thing I will say is that the uh, MTM, when it needed its filters changed, I definitely saw a drop in the foam production, but it was still usable. It was still workable on a job, but the MJJC, once the filters went on that thing, it was basically producing water. Uh, you saw in the opening footage of this video what it was producing, and it's basically no foam at all. So there's a big discrepancy there. Once the filters go on the MJJC, that's it. You can't really use it. It's pointless to use it as a foam cannon after that. So, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're changing the uh, filters in both these foam cannons. Really, they both need it. So I figured I'd get them both into uh, the same video for you guys. All right, so again, so we've got our brand new uh, filter set up here. Okay, so now here is the tricky part, is reinserting the new foam cannon filters. So we're gonna drop it in, and the hardest part is getting it in there flat. Or basically you want it uh, perpendicular to the foam cannon nozzle, so that, that's what I mean by flat. Okay, so I've used my finger to, to uh, work it in there flat. We're gonna stick our foam filter in there next. I reach in with my finger and then we're going to take our final uh, stainless steel filter and sandwich it with over top of the foam. And again, we're going to reach in there with our finger and, and make sure it feels flat and that's good. Okay, so now that we've got our old filters removed and the new filters are in place, now we're going to reinsert the nozzle back over top of the uh, brass nozzle. So the best way to do this is to put the plastic nozzle flat on the, on the table or the bench, whatever you're working on, and put the brass nozzle down on top of it and put some pressure on it. The reason being is that if you hold the plastic nozzle kind of on the side like this or horizontally to try to insert the two back onto one another, the filters are gonna fall out of place inside the nozzle. So, and that's gonna impede the brass nozzle from inserting properly into the plastic nozzle. So I put it vertical like this so the uh, filters would stay in place. And now that I've got them together, I can just uh, push them together, kind of twist and push until it goes no further. So that's back together. So the only thing left to do is to reinsert our linchpin. So we've got our linchpin that we put aside earlier and make sure it's going the correct way. So if you notice that the linchpin is off center, it's not on the center of the barrel. So you wanna make sure you've got the side facing up that where you can see both linchpin holes. That way you know it's going this way and you're not trying to insert the pin the wrong direction. So just stick it in one side and it should go in relatively effortlessly and press on it until it's slightly recessed on both sides. You might need the Allen key again for this just a little bit just to make sure it's in there properly so it doesn't fall out on you while you're using it. Not that it probably wouldn't anyway, but you just want it in there properly. So there we go. Uh, the linchpin is back in. It's slightly recessed on both sides of the uh, insertion hole. 
and our new filters are in. So that's it. That's how to replace the filters on an MJJC Foam Cannon Pro version 2. Now let's move over to the MTM. Now the MTM is a very similar construction. You've got the, a linchpin here on the barrel that holds the barrel component to the main brass uh, component of the, uh, of the unit. So we've got a linchpin hole here, and on the other side, the linchpin hole here. And again, it's off center. So I'm gonna use the same 2.5 millimeter Allen key. And on the uh, MTM, it's in there a little bit more snug than it is the the uh, MJJC. So we're going to hold it in place on the table and kind of give it a few taps. And that did not get it through, so let's try again. And again, you want to make sure the slot that the uh, linchpin sits in is vertical so that you're not pounding it in an awkward angle. And that was a little tougher, actually a lot tougher than the uh, MJJC. So we've got it sticking up a little bit. So let's see if we can get it out a little bit more. really in there tough. All right, so I've got it sticking up a little bit. Uh, let me see if that's enough to uh, pull out with the pliers. Really shouldn't be this difficult, but for some reason it's being difficult. All right, so we're gonna try a two millimeter Allen key. So this, this actually fits in there a lot looser. Let's see if this one gives us the, what we need. So it's still not budging much. There we go. So I've got it out more. What I had to do was step aside from the camera so I could get a little bit better leverage uh, than I could from behind the camera. So I've got it sticking out. And now I'm gonna use my pliers and I'm just gonna keep, and I'm gonna pull it out the rest of the way. There we go. So there's our linchpin that holds the unit together. And so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna pull it apart just like we did the MJJC. And again, it's held on by a little rubber O-ring at the base. So we're gonna set that aside. So I've got the nozzle as a separate unit and I'm gonna open up the orifice here at the end all the way so that I can get my Allen key in there. And I'm gonna stick it in just like I did with the MJJC, kind of right down the center until I feel I can't uh, go any deeper. And then kind of give it a few whacks on the table there while pushing down and then there is our setup uh, inside the foam cannon. And this O-ring goes right back inside, but we're gonna, we don't need this at the moment. We're gonna put these aside. And here we've got our old filter. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it with our other old filters. Now we've got our brand new filter for the MTM. We're gonna open this up, get it out of there. And here, a nice new one. Okay, so just like the MJJC, we put the nozzle vertical on the table and just drop the filter in. It's easiest to use your finger to get the filter positioned correctly inside the filter recess. And now we see the filter is snug inside the filter recess correctly. Okay, so now that we've got the foam filter replaced, uh, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the unit. So put the nozzle aside for a moment, take our, our brass housing, we're gonna take the cone and the O-ring and put the O-ring back around the cone the way it was originally and just insert it right back into the brass housing just like that. It should look just like this with the brass, the O-ring, and then the plastic cone uh, making a nice tight fit just like that. 
and then we're going to take the nozzle and slide it back over top and again just twist and push until it all fits back together nice and snug and then really the only thing left to do is to reinsert our linchpin right here so we've got our linchpin right here and again we want to make sure we're looking at the side where we can see really both linchpin holes right here right on the top so we're going to insert it right back in one side give a little tap on the table <clears throat> you turn it perpendicular to the uh, the uh, adjustment nozzle on top so it's easier to push back in okay so we've been able to push it back in the majority of the way see if we can't get it a little bit more than that okay so that's pretty good just like that what I've got here is a little ball peen hammer and I'm just going to use it to try to push by hand the rest of the way and there we go so I've got the linchpin pushed in all the way again it's just slightly recessed on both sides and that's what you want and the filter is changed on the MTM PF22 so everything works properly we've got our our fan blade dial here on the uh, light gray part and that works just properly and then we've got our main dial for the uh, blade size foam blade size here that works properly so okay so now that we've got both filter setups in both these foam cannons changed let's head back out into the real world to see how they perform okay so now that we've got our filters replaced in both foam cannons let's see how they perform we're going to test the MJJC first. Okay, so that's an improvement from before we changed the filters, but it's still not all that great. So leads me to believe that we might have some bigger issues with the MJJC. I'll have to reach out to their customer support to see what else can be done. Let me rinse down the vehicle and then we'll give the MTM a shot. Okay, so obviously the MTM performed much better after the filter replacement. So I'm going to reach out to MTM and see what else can be done to improve the foam quality if there's something else that's wrong. Maybe there's something clogged that's deeper inside the nozzle than I know how to get to on my own. So I will definitely include that in this video as soon as I hear back from MJJC. Okay guys, so it's a week later and I had a chance to reach out to MJJC and a customer rep got back to me. Uh, pretty quickly actually same day and they gave me a solution to fix the ongoing issue of watery or really runny almost non-existent foam last week after replacing the filters we did see a increase in the foam but it wasn't like it used to be it wasn't where we want it to be so I reached out to MJJC and they recommended cleaning the filter ball which I'm not sure why I didn't think of that myself but uh, I removed the filter ball uh, from the dip tube and I soaked it in white vinegar overnight and then I reattached it. So now let's see if that improves our foam. Let's see if that gets our foam back to where we want it to be. All right, so that seems to have done the trick. I think we're back in business here. So again, all I did was remove the weighted filter ball on the bottom of the dip tube 
and then soak it in vinegar for a while. In my case, I soaked it overnight. What that's gonna do is the acidic nature of the vinegar is gonna attack and dissolve the uh, minerals. Most likely that's what's causing the problem, mineral deposits inside the filter and leave it nice and clear like it should be. So before we conclude this test, uh, I wanna try one last thing. I wanna try removing the filter ball at the end of the dip tube altogether and see if that makes an even greater difference. Okay, so as you can see, I've removed the little weighted ball filter from the bottom of the dip tube. So now I'm just gonna put this thing back together. And let's see if that makes a difference in our foam quality. All right, so here in person, I'm not sure how much the camera picked it up, but here in person, I did see a small uptick in foam by removing the filter. Now, any filter really is meant to restrict, so it's gonna restrict something. And we saw that today with the MJJC foam cannon. The weighted ball in the filter is a really good idea. Uh, the filter, I think, holds it back. So I may try to figure out some way I can attach the weighted ball to the bottom of the dip tube so that I can still have the benefits of the weighted ball inside my reservoir, but bypass the filter. But that being said, we seem to have fixed the problem. First, we replaced the filter setup inside the uh, foam cannon barrel, and then we had to clean the filter on the bottom of the dip tube inside the reservoir. That seemed to fix our problem. But again, if you want to take it to the next level, just remove the filter altogether. Maybe find a way to attach the uh, weighted ball to the bottom of the dip tube, but bypass the filter. And in my opinion, you can get even better foam out of this thing. All right, everyone, that's gonna finally wrap up this video. We went through routine maintenance steps for the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro uh, version two in changing the filters. And we also changed the filter and performed routine maintenance for my MTM PF22. Now with the MJJC, we also did some additional troubleshooting in that I learned that you also need to clean the filter at the bottom of the dip tube. And I'm assuming that, that really should be done every time you change the filters inside the foam cannon itself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give us a like right down below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. That way you don't miss any future auto detailing content just like this. So as always, I'm Seth with Turner Mobile Detailing and we'll see you in the next video.